These are coastal redwood trees. And uh, the seeds are from uh, Northern California up around Crescent City. And uh, we brought them here to Brad's Lockritz family farm here to kind of add to the, the array of different vegetables and see how they grow. Uh, the, the seeds are actually from an old growth forest that's, you know, well beyond 1,200 years. The actual tree itself is probably 800 to 1,200 year old tree. And so it's amazing that trees of that age, you know, 300 feet tall, can still manage to develop a cone and have seeds that are viable. And there's the result. And of course, the, the challenge behind growing the tree, too, is collecting the seed. And uh, what I do is uh, I, I have a nursery. It's uh, state park land. And we grow the trees. And then uh, those get planted on restoration sites. So it's kind of a... Uh, so the seed source is similar to what the forest is. We're not introducing seed sources from other areas that haven't adapted over those 1,200 years. So The nursery set up as a focal point for education so that uh, it's a state park. It's not like you're parked in here. It's, it's open to the public 24-7. This is a... Uh, there's active restoration, which means there's heavy equipment pulling the roads out, so it's not always... Uh, safe for the public to come in. So what I try to do is, through the nursery as a focal point education, I take people out into those projects and um, educate them on what's going on. What are the so, parts, what are the elements of that forest? So if I were, if I was to, you know, walk up to an, our old growth forest, you know, on, on our tour, within, a, a, just within a quarter mile, there's an old growth forest right there. And we look at what an old growth forest is. It's not one 12, 800 to 1200 year old redwood tree. It's the whole forest. It's the whole picture. I like to use picture. I don't know why that's stuck, but it is. If you start erasing things, you're going to, and the erasing things would be not only one old growth tree of redwood, there's also old growth uh, western red cedar, Port Orford cedar, uh, different species of conifers. And they're all part of that community, and that's. And then as you work down, there's big leaf maple, there's alders, and if you work down, there's um, huckleberries and shrubs. And if you work down, there's down logs that have been on the ground for hundreds of years. And if you work down, there's this, the forest soil, and below the soil is all the microorganisms. That's the forest community. So you ask what trees we grow. I like to say, well, this, these are the trees we grow, because that's what's grown in your old growth community. So. When we walk into the nursery, all we have trees of all those different species that are in the old growth forest. So we have a young old growth forest. <laughs> is the kind of the message I, I like to leave. Yeah. And uh, so that's what we're growing.